Good morning. It's Tuesday. Okay, you may or may not know that. But anyway, guess where I am, guys? I'm at the store again. Okay, maybe not. Okay, does this right here, does this count as a store? <laughs> I don't know. But anyway, I'm looking for a um, faux fur blanket or like a faux fur throw. I think I'm going to go in TJ Maxx first. And if I don't see it in TJ Maxx, then I will go in Joann's to see what I can find. But I'm looking for one for a photo shoot that I want to do. It's noisy out here because they're pressure washing. The money truck is picking up or dropping off the money. It's all kinds of noise out here. <clears throat> but anyway, I'm going to go into TJ Maxx and see what they have first. Yes, with this scarf and this ponytail. Picking it. And we'll check it out when we get inside. Okay, it wouldn't be me if I didn't stop by the makeup. I can't help it. I have to. Even if I'm not buying anything, I just, I have to look at it and see what's in here. I know it's terrible. I'm, I'm just like addicted, y'all. <laughs> and it's bad. Like they even have these, these must have been discontinued. Cause they were just in Ulta, now they're in here for $5.99. So this is a foundation brush. I don't need that. Okay, now I can't put it back. Maybe I need it. That's why I can't put it back. Okay, psych. I don't need it. Look, they even have look, the powder brush. $5.99. Ain't that something? Let's see what else they got. Probably something high in. I said I wasn't going to pick up nothing. Look at this. This bronzer looks good. That's why I picked it up. And it's only $2.29. Weird price. And then I always pick up an eyebrow pencil. No matter who it's from, I just always like to try them. Okay, this is what I'm looking for. It's faux fur. But I don't know if they have it. It's, oh, here we go. Here we go. Right here. I need a faux fur blanket. But not any old color. How much is this thing? $29.99. I'm not trying to pay that much for it. But I really want one. For photos. I have a good photo idea. For a blanket that I'm just gonna use for one thing. Let's see what else is back here. Okay, I see something that might be usable. It might be like a rug or something. Yeah, it is a rug. But I feel like I can do what I need to do with it. It's $16. What do you guys think? this thing what do you guys think of this does this look good should i go for it let me just make sure there's no other ones before i go for that because it's pretty much exactly what i want so okay i'm out of tj maxx and somehow some way i went in there for one faux fur item and i came out with um three bags that's so ridiculous. They had a final clearance table that I got suckered into. And that's what happened. I'm trying to get in the car. Of course, somebody come whipping around on me. Yeah, those are my bags. How did I end up with this many bags? The good thing is I only spent $35, though. So that's the good thing. When I get home, I'll show y'all what I came out with. Okay, so Nettie's, I'm back home. And so when I went to TJ Maxx, my intentions were to get a something for faux fur, faux fur, um, throw or a cheap blanket. Um, I didn't want to spend a lot on it because I knew I wouldn't use it as a blanket. If anything, I probably would have used it as a throw, but I just feel like things like this, even though they're pretty and they're probably warm, I want to be warm in the winter, but not that warm. So anyway, I ended up getting this rug on clearance. Um, and it's a pretty good size for $16.99. I'm actually going to use it, um, as on a, I'm going to use it for a photo prop that I'm going to do with Lourdes. And so she will fit perfectly 
on what I'm trying to do with this. And you guys will see it um, coming up soon. I have a few more things I need to buy for her in order to make this um, photo come to life. And so I ended up getting other stuff. Y'all saw this little contour palette from Mac Studio. It was cheap. And so was this um, brow pencil. Again, I always buy brow products even when I don't need them because if they're cheap like this, Instead of getting them in like Walmart or drugstores or even high-end stuff, I'll pick them up and just try them out, especially for their price. And then I ended up getting suckered into a clearance table. I am a Virgo. Shout out to Virgos. Next month is my birthday, September 15th. Remember that. Um, this is the year of aging backwards. So on that day, I will start going in reverse. I picked up a couple of graduation cards because they were only 70 cents. And we have three family members, including Kalicia, graduating this year. But these are actually for two other people. I feel like all the things that I plan to do for Kalis for her graduation, uh, surely she wants give me a negative mark for not getting her a card. So actually these are not for her. These are for two cousins that are graduating. And then I got suckered into this thing. It's some kind of um, speaker that lights up. It's an indoor outdoor speaker. Um, I don't know why I bought it. It was on that table. I'm actually going to hook it up now and try it out and go put another memory card in our vlog camera so I can see if this thing actually works. So that's what I'm doing now. And then I'm also going to start prepping some lunch and some breakfast stuff that you guys can see. Um, just kind of following my keto plan still and showing you like what I plan on eating today. I really wanted to make these keto waffles, but it's better that the batter stays in the refrigerator and thickens up. And as you can see, it is already 10, 16, and I usually eat after... Um, 11 but I can wait it's not that big of a deal so I may go ahead and prep that batter so you could see it but that's what I got my husband is actually chiming in in the middle of us talking so I'm going to go say hi to him he's still at sea but I'm going to say hi to him and he'll probably call and I'll get back with you guys in a little while okay Nettie so I'm back in the kitchen this um, freaking vlog camera will not let me be great because I need some memory cards. Um, mine are just busted. But anyways, I found this recipe within a recipe on Facebook. No, on YouTube, I'm sorry. Of I was going to do waffles, but now I'm going to try low carb pancakes instead because I've done the waffles before and they're really good. I just want to try the pancakes and see how they go. And so I pretty much have everything out here that it's calling for. I have almond flour, some eggs, um, some Lakanto monk fruit sweetener. Um, I haven't used this much. I have used it, but I've like sampled it a little bit in coffee. And it's very light and it's very low in carbohydrates. Um, it only has, well, I guess it has zero because you're supposed to subtract the sugar alcohol as well. So I think it has zero grams of carbs, if I'm not mistaken. And it doesn't call for much in this recipe. It calls for oil. So I'm, I'm torn between using olive oil or butter i'm not sure which one i'm going to use it also needs baking soda so i have baking soda out and i think a little bit of water yes sorry i got quiet for a minute so what i'm going to do is get all of the ingredients into the bowl and i'll let you see what that looks like since i'm vlogging with my phone i don't have a tripod for my phone i only have one for my camera and again, my camera's messed up and um, I don't want to go spend any money on a <laughs> memory card right now since I've been spending money already this morning. I mean, I'll get one today, but I'm not going to leave the house right now to get that memory card. I think I'm also going to make some chicken sausage on the side. I had chicken sausage yesterday and I really liked it. But the one that I'll make today will probably be the ones that have already been pre-cooked so I can go ahead and get rid of those. So I'll probably put those on the griddle with the pancakes, but I'll come back shortly when I have everything in the bowl. Okay guys, here's the batter. It's, um, looks like pancake batter. Sorry, I'm, I'm vlogging something real quick. I was talking to, I was talking to Hamlet. He's on my laptop. He has a break. You want to say hi to the netties? <laughs> He's out in the beautiful. Where are you? Tell them where you are. In Mexico. 
Mexico. Oh, he's in Mexico. Show them Mexico. Can you show them Mexico? There's some palm trees. There's some people talking to their family. Okay. Nice. Okay, let us see you. Oh, you got your shades on. So, anything else you want to say to the netties? Do you want to tell the netties how it feels to be in a long-distance relationship? No, I mean, it's a big sacrifice, you know. Um, um, sometimes you get lonely, you miss your family, but, you know, they just got to be strong mentally, you know. Yeah. Um, and focus, you know. Mm -hmm. So, it's all, it's all good. It's all good. Uh, it's not gonna be like this for right. forever. Sometimes, you know, um, circumstances, you know, will will come, you know, and you know, you just have to just, you know, do what you have to do. Right. Just, uh, just life, you just survival, you know. Yeah, and nothing. And just keep it. And nothing good comes easy, right? Yeah, nothing good comes easy, you know. You have to, Walk out of it. Yeah. Or walk out for it. So, yeah, that's what I'm doing now. In due times, you know. Yeah. In God timing, which is perfect, everything will be legit, you know. So, yeah. I'm just here taking it easy. Yeah. Okay. Anything else you want to say? <laughs> yeah, just go check out it, our channel and uh, make sure you like subscribe and share you know, uh, great things coming okay. for um, all you people there who yeah. follow us and you know, like the stuff that we 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 greatly appreciate you know your thoughtfulness and your following us yeah, so. so big things popping be blessed. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay Now, I did modify this recipe a little bit. Um, I added, instead of a fourth of a cup of water, I did an eighth of a cup of water and an eighth of a cup of heavy cream because I want the cream to make these pancakes a little bit more moist. And I also put in probably an eighth of a teaspoon of vanilla extract. I'm going to take this fourth of a cup measuring cup to be my uh, measuring device for the batter. Um, just do a cup like this and then put it onto the griddle and see how that comes out. We're just, we'll just try it that way first. I feel like that'll make perfect size pancakes. I don't know the macros on these pancakes, but I will look at it here shortly. And that recipe, I'll just copy it with my modifications if you want them. I'll copy it into the video, into the comment section, so you can see what I did. I think I'm just gonna start out with making three, and then maybe the rest of the batter I can save for another day. I'll store it and save it, um, you know, to use this week, not like another day far, far away from today. <laughs> so that's how much I have left. I feel like this will probably make about maybe six to eight pancakes, I don't know. It looks like it, but I may be wrong. I'm just going to grab a spatula or a turner. You learn that it's a turner when you're in school. Um, but if you took home, like home ec or cooking foods, I took foods. So I'm turning over that sausage. I don't know how many, how long you should cook on each side. I mean, it's already looking like, this is not the right turner, I have to get something else. It's already looking like yeah, y'all see this right here? I got this. I'm also going to prep some salad. That's why I have that out. Um, so one of my daughters, I have a three-year-old and a seven-year-old, a three-year-old and a 17-year-old. You guys should know this by now if you're a netty. If you're new to our channel, I have a three-year-old named Lourdes, a 17-year-old named Calicia. Um, this morning I came downstairs to this. Can you guys guess which child left this like this? Um, 
And so I decided to leave it like this all day until they come home and have to clean it up because I'm tired of cleaning up. I, I know moms clean up all the time, but I'm tired of cleaning up. And so this is what I left for, for her. Um, Lourdes is a three-year-old. Kalicia is a 17-year-old. Um, comment down below who you think is the culprit. Who do you think made this mess? Yeah. Um, we also have a video uploading today. That's what I'm doing right now. Um, that video will show at 5 p.m. But by the time you guys watch this, the video will already be up. So, still, I'm just doing a lot right now. I'm doing a lot in this kitchen. And I had to stop and talk to my husband because we only talk every few days. So, I'm trying to check this and see. Oh, yeah, that looks great. That looks awesome. Let's see if we can flip these with success. Let's see if we can flip it with success. So, again, I was talking to my husband. I was crying to him about how we needed memory cards and... All mine were bad. Ooh. How all my memory cards are bad. And so I was hoping he would sympathize with me, and he did. And so um, now I get to order some memory cards in bulk. That way we won't have this problem again. And I'm flipping another cake. Awesome. That worked out perfect. And I'm gonna flip this last one. I guess that was on that side for about three minutes, two or three minutes. They actually look like real pancakes, like real flour pancakes. I'm excited, guys. Okay, I'm gonna finish this up. I will get them on a plate, and then I will show you guys my final results. See you soon. Okay, babes, here's our final product. Sorry about the paper plate. We are paper plate people because we wash dishes all the time. If you don't believe me, look at this. Dirty dishes. Dish water that I just um, ran so that I can start washing when I'm done over here. These are the pancakes. Um, I will be using this Walden Farms pancake syrup. It is calorie free. It is fat free. It has zero grams of carbs. It has zero everything. Uh, 95 milligrams of sodium it's um it's sweet it's not like um thick and rich like pancake syrup but it's doable so i mean i don't mind it i can tolerate it so i'm going to have this now i will let you guys know how they taste unless you need me to taste them on camera i can do that as well i just want to cut them up real fast how i do any other pancake so let me do that real quick and then i'll come back and we'll do a taste test to see how good they are and I will keep it real with you. I am funny about textures and I already can tell that these have a different texture than flour but they look like pancakes. So um, yeah, let me cut them up and I'll come back. They are cut now. We're about to have the moment of truth. I grabbed me some water. I was still drinking on this thing from yesterday. It, it, it's from yesterday. It's like literally a corner left. But it's, I've gotten so used to drinking water that it, I couldn't drink that thing in a whole day, if that makes sense. Like, the sweetness is not too sweet, but it's too sweet when you haven't been drinking anything but water. So, um, I couldn't handle it all in one day. But again, let's get back to the pancakes and the sausage. Here they are together. I'm going to flip my camera around so we can taste them. Don't mind those eyesores in the background. <laughs> in the background over there. I know it's terrible, y'all. This is what I do every day. You have to clean up this kitchen and stuff every day. Here's my pancakes. I grabbed two little squares. Okay. Let me just say. The texture reminds me of something like if you ever had like a flat piece of like cornbread. Like, <laughs> but it's not as dense. It's still kind of fluffy. It's quite dry it's not real moist so you may want to do something else to make it moist i saw some people say they put cream cheese in it and that probably would make it good and moist um the thing about almond flour is it's it's not going to get finely milled it's just it's still and it may be one out there i just don't have it the one i had was like the pillsbury brand and maybe i need to see if i can find something more finely milled but i don't mind this texture and i'm funny about texture so it's fine um they're not real sweet, but I did put the Lakanto in it. I also put a little bit of vanilla in it just to give it more flavor. But they're not bad. I could make them again. I could eat them again. So I'm going to finish having my breakfast. And then 
my breakfast at 11 30 and then um i'm going to prep i have some romaine lettuce right there that i'm going to cut cut up and put it in my salad spinner so i can wash it off and have a salad for later i think that's what i'm making later on a salad with romaine and spinach and maybe broccoli and probably like shredded cheese maybe a little bit of bacon and that's it i think that's what i'll have later like for a late lunch and then tonight i have no idea what i'm making tonight um i don't know but i'll see you guys later when i'm cleaning the salad